the call to the member for MacArthur. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. Today is World No Tobacco Day. How is the Albanese Labor government reclaiming Australia's rightful position as a world leader on tobacco control? Yeah. Give a call to the Minister for Health and Aged Care. Well, I thank the member for MacArthur, Mr Speaker, for his question. After Mal Washer left this building, the member for MacArthur spearheaded the entry of a number of doctors to this place, on our side particularly and on the crossbench, who, alongside with other health professionals in the House of Representatives, add real value to our deliberations on health policy. Tobacco is, as the member says, World No Tobacco Order. Day. A reminder that, in spite of the huge inroads made over many decades, Tobacco use is still the leading cause, the preventable cause, of death and disability here in Australia. A reminder that still two million Australians today are daily smokers, with the vast majority of them we know from research still wanting to kick the habit. And a recognition, Mr Speaker, that we face emerging new challenges like vaping, a product deliberately designed to recruit a new generation to nicotine addiction. Ten years ago, Australia did lead the global fight against tobacco with visionary plain packaging and graphic health warming reforms, and they were hard fought. The Leader of the Opposition, who was Health Minister at the time, said they were a bridge too far, and Big Tobacco fought our reforms tooth and nail through courts. But we prevailed, Mr Speaker, and those reforms made a real difference. Dozens of countries around the world have followed Australia's lead, and today, here in Australia, there are one million fewer smokers than there were before those reforms. But, Mr Speaker, we know on this side of the House there is more to do, because while the former government was happy to bank a 152 per cent increase in tobacco excise under their watch, none of that extra revenue was invested in new tobacco control investments, none of it whatsoever. And as a result, smoking rates have now flatlined. After decades of decline, smoking rates for the first time in decades have flatlined. Indeed, because of vaping, our youngest Australians are the only cohort in our community where smoking rates are actually increasing. Well, the, we on this side, Mr Deputy Speaker, are Leader determined to stamp out the marketing strategies of big tobacco put in place to get around the reforms from a decade ago. The Vogue-style fashionable thin cigarettes, the, they will go. The menthol bombs and other flavours designed to make cigarettes more tasty, they will go. The brand names designed to mislead consumers like Cool Crush, Fresh Burst, Smooth Cigarettes, they will go as well. We are determined on this side to drive down smoking rates even further, Mr Speaker, and to prevent a whole new generation becoming addicted to nicotine. So today I have published draft legislation on our website to do just that. We are determined to have that legislation passed by the parliament. A decade ago, we had to get the Leader of the Opposition kicking and screaming onto the side of reform. I hope he comes to it quicker this time. Yeah.